Hi, in this problem, see that this all can appear in main 2019 J paper. And here it says that the given function fx is uh, always positive. Okay, so when a quadratic equation always positive, that means that equation is always above the x axis, right? Always above the x axis. Now, now when it's always above the x axis, that means the function doesn't cross the x axis, right? So therefore, no roots, no real roots. So therefore, it definitely has have complex root. So what is the condition for complex or imaginary root? That the discriminant of this equation in A is less than 0. So this is the one condition. The second condition, the second condition is that obviously the A value that the coefficient of x square is greater than 0. Why? Because then only, then only it will be in the shape of a parabola and it is open upward. So this is will be the function or this is will be the case or the plot for this function, right? Then only it doesn't have the real roots and also it positive right so therefore we have to consider that a is greater than 0 and discriminant of this problem is actually discriminant of this pro problem is actually uh, greater less than 0 so that is the two case and based on that we have to find the value of m or whatever the condition right so that is called the integral values of m right so let's go ahead and first consider the discriminant and let's go ahead right so here, obviously, the two condition will be that the discriminant will be less than zero and A is greater than zero. Then there will be no solution, no real roots and it is positive for the quadratic equation AX squared plus BX plus C equal to zero. Or maybe if it is a polynomial we consider, so you can remove that zero. So it's the same thing, right? So let's go ahead. So here we have to first calculate the discriminant. So let's go ahead and put that discriminant. So discriminant D is equal to B square. So here, what is B square? B, you can see it is actually minus 2, 1 plus 3M. So therefore, you will have uh, 4, 1 plus 3M whole square, B square, minus, write down 4. And then C into A. What is C? C is equal to 4 into 1 plus M. So C is done. Now we have to write the A. What is A? A is 1 plus 2M. So therefore it is 1 plus and this discriminant must be less than 0. So we put less than 0. Now let's do a, go ahead and calculation. You can see that here 1 plus 3M whole square is calculated. So let's imply that 1 plus 3M whole square. It's minus 4 into M plus 1 and 2M plus 1 is less than 0. Let's calculate it. So here we expand it. So it's 1 plus 9m square plus uh, 6m minus 4 into 2m square plus m plus 2m. So that is 3m plus 1 is less than 0. Open the bracket for that. So it is 9m square plus 6m plus 1 is equal to it's minus 8m square minus 12m minus 4 is less than 0. So therefore it's imply that it's actually uh, m square minus 6m minus 3 and that's less than 0. So if it is so then we get it done. So therefore the relation of m or the number of m or the value of m, it should be something like that. This quadratic equation is less than 0. Now, obviously, in this quadratic equation, can I consider the two roots? Yes. So, let us consider this quadratic equation, uh, make as a box. Alpha and beta are the roots of m square minus 6m minus 3 equal to 0. <clears throat> So therefore, if alpha and beta are the roots, we know that then alpha and beta are the factors of this uh, polynomial. So this polynomial now can be written as m minus alpha and m minus beta equal to 0. Now what is alpha beta? So we can say that where alpha comma beta will be equal to now we have to apply the concept of right that quadratic equation that minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4c and all that stuff right. So here what is minus b? Minus b is, is actually 6 plus minus root over b square minus 4c a. So b square that is 36 minus 4c a. 4c a will be 12. So therefore it is plus 12 by 2. Let's calculate that. So it gives you actually 6 
plus or minus uh, this gives you actually uh, 48 divided by 2. So therefore it's implied that it gives you 6 plus minus. Now 48, uh, how you write 48? Uh, uh, it can be for, uh, written as in the form of 2 into 24, 2 in 4 into 12, okay. So 16 into 3, so therefore it's 4 root 3, right, divided by 2. So therefore it gives you uh, 3 plus 2 root 3, so that's it. So here we are able to calculate, right, the alpha and beta, right. So alpha and beta is 3 plus minus 2 root 3, right. So as the polynomial or written is in this form is less than 0, so because that is the case so that the discriminant is less than 0. So therefore we will say that this implies that here m minus alpha multiplied by m minus beta is less than 0. So that implies that with the help of this uh, relation that 3 plus minus root 3, 3 plus minus, minus root 3 is the less than thing. So therefore we can say that it is actually say 3 minus 2 root 3 less than m less than uh, 3 plus 2 root 3. Now <clears throat> we have to calculate these values. Now if I uh, calculate these values right we can see that the left hand side this value gives you minus 0 0.46 less than m less than uh, uh, 6.46 just approximate value that will uh, goes on goes on right wait okay so this is the condition so if m, m lies between 0 0.46 and all that stuff then the given expression is always positive okay now also we'll say that in this case we consider that a is greater than 0 so this condition still is not considered right so see that what is a greater than 0 so a greater than 0 imply that 1 plus uh, uh, 1 plus obviously 2m is greater than 0 so 1 plus 2m is greater than 0 imply that m is greater than uh, minus 0 0.5 so obviously m is greater than 0 0.5 and here the condition is already uh, satisfied right so therefore we'll say that always positive that imply that m lies between minus 0 0.46 less than m less than 6.4. Now here we are looking for the integer values of m, right? That's the meaning of integral values of m. So how many positive integers are there? Because that's a positive integer or integer are there. Therefore, m must be equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 7 in number right so therefore there exists seven integer value of m or seven positive integer of m such that the given equation are always having positive so in this case obviously option c is the correct answer hope you understood the problem now just have a look at a little solution it will clear everything thank you